Good morning, folks, in this installment of the lesson series, I want to give you three techniques that can help improve your country blues and delta blues slide playing. So in the first place, I'm in open G tuning, and that's D, G, D, G, B, D. It's just an open G chord. All right, so let's just get started. Here's the first technique. Okay, I call it the down, up, down technique, all right, because what I'm doing is I'm going down, up, down, so I'm just taking the slide and, and moving it up and down, but the trick is to have a lot of precision in what you're doing, okay, so here's the notes that you're going to want to hit, you're going to start on the 12th fret <clears throat> on the first string, and slide down to the 10th, all right? And then you're gonna come back up from the 10th to the 12th fret on the second string. Now, if you'll notice, as soon as I hit another note in this, until I get to the very end of the lick, I'm blocking off the strings. So I don't want any other notes to sound, just one note at a time. Okay, all right, so 12, 10, 10, 12. Now, on the third string, I just play the 12th fret and slide all the way down. And then I grab the third fret on the third string, go up to the fourth fret, and then open third string, open fifth string, fifth fret on the first string and give it a nice vibrato. All right, the trick to this is the finger blocking too. So this will help you also with your finger blocking. Here's what I do. I will take my thumb and I will play the first note. And then I block it with my next finger up, okay? Okay, so I'm always blocking the strings as I move them up. It's almost like my hand's climbing the ladder of the strings, okay? Now, that technique is great. You can use it in many places. Um, one good example of using that technique is in I Can't Be Satisfied by Muddy Waters, okay? So that's a fun way to practice it. he goes up, up, down. So he's going. All right, so check that tune out. And that lick is simply you're sliding into 12, 12, and then taking your thumb and hitting the strings. on 12 on the first string, 12 on the second string. Give it another rhythmic hit. 12 on the third string, and then you'd slide down. All right, boom, it's real quick. And then he does a, so he's going onto the fifth string, hitting it open, sliding up to about the fourth fret, and then playing the fourth string, so. So that's a great way to practice that. All right, let's move on. The next technique is something I use a lot. Um, and it's hammer-ons and pull-offs using the slide um, and then having a unison note at the end. So, all right, um, there's many ways you can use hammer-ons, but basically what you're gonna do is have the slide on the string. I've got it on the third fret this time. And then I just pull it off, okay, until the string plays open. I kind of come up a little bit. You can see I kind of flick my hand down like this because it gets the slide out of the way of the strings quickly. You want to think like a drummer. When a drummer hits, he goes, he hits, but he immediately comes off. So. Right? And the next thing I'm going to do is hammer on on the fourth string 
which I got them all, but one thing I do is I keep a lot of strings blocked off when I'm using this technique so I don't get that. Oh, that's a cool sound too. Um, that way I'm just getting the sound on one string. So finger blocking, again, becomes very important. All right, so third fret, third string. You're going to come up towards the fourth fret. You just want to get the sound of movement. And then come off and let it ring open. Then you're going to play the fourth string. And you're going to take your slide and lay it down on that string. Just like a hammer on. But you do your finger except with your slide. You don't want to press really hard, but you got to tap it down. All right. And you're just going to hammer on to the third fret. And then come off and block that fourth string. You're going to get a little noise. That's okay. That happens. And then I just play the third string open and then slide up on to the fifth fret on the fourth string. That's that lick. Okay. Um, another thing you can do is, and I always... Always, yeah, I pretty much always do this in the key of whatever the guitar is tuned to. So if I'm in open G or Spanish tuning, I'm playing these licks in G. Because then I have nice open strings. It makes it simple to pull off into. The other thing you can do is go. All right, and all that lick is, is you're going to get on the third string. And I do a lot of this on the strings that are wound, okay? Uh, the unwound strings are a little harder. All right, they're a little harder, but you can experiment with them. You just use the technique. Okay, so let me give you one more lick with this technique. It's not a real country blues sounding lick, but it can help you get this under your fingers. All right. 7th fret, 3rd string, slide, pull off, 6th fret, 3rd string, pull off, 5th fret, 3rd string, pull off, 3rd fret, 3rd string, pull off. Okay, and all I do there is, when I pull off of the 3rd fret, Open third, open fourth, third open, and then slide into the fifth fret on the fourth string. Just to give it an ending. You know, there's a great um, player who does this, Rory Gallagher. Um, what's it called? When the Crow Flies. Check out his solo in his acoustic version of When the Crow Flies. It's a Tony Joe White song. But it's Rory Gallagher's version of that song. Um, he does some fantastic slide work that way. In fact, that's where I became aware of this technique, really, and how useful it could be. All right. The last technique is less of a slide technique and more of a rhythm technique. Okay, let me just show it to you. And it's going to lend some excitement to what you're doing. Um, so basically, you're going to hammer on... A lot of times I'll use my first or second finger. And in between those hammer-ons, you're going to slap. Slap the strings, okay? And it's a great rhythmic thing, and it's a great way to break down a tune and really give it some excitement, <clears throat> which is what I've really been working on myself lately, is how can I break tunes apart and inject some excitement into them? All right, so... All it is, and this is just one riff to do it, um, you're going to tap with your left hand, your middle finger or first finger, whatever finger is the strongest, onto the fifth fret on the sixth string. All right? Then you're going to take your right hand and give it a slap. Think of the string bass players when they used to do the... That's what you're emulating. Gives it a lot of rhythm. Okay, so you're going to give it two slaps. And then go down to the third fret. Two slaps. Second fret. Two slaps. First fret. Two slaps. Now, where you slap the guitar on the body 
is going to change the sound of this lick. So let's slap up here on the body. Excuse me, but you get the idea. You can get more of a, almost like a little conga drum or a snare drum feel. Now, one, Bob Brosman is a great player and he does this a lot where he will slap the strings and play these different, he'll, a lot of times I've seen him go. In fact, that's where I got it as far as moving it around. Um, you can also do a traditional bass line like a. It's a little harder to navigate, but all that is is fifth fret on the sixth string, fourth fret on the fifth string, seventh fret on the fifth string, ninth fret on the fifth string, tenth fret on the fifth string. 9th fret on the 5th string, 7th fret on the 5th string, 4th fret on the 5th string. So it's... If you can get it going fast enough, I've never been able to... Get that real clean, but... Anyway, it's, it's a fun thing to do. It will inject some excitement into your playing, okay? Um, and one great way to show you how that can work is if you're playing along. I used all three of the techniques I've shown you. Take this, run with it, have fun. Players to listen to who do these techniques. Um, Bob Brosman, of course, Sunhouse, Robert Johnson. Buckle White's a great one for the tapping. He does a cool thing like this where he'll go. I can't keep it coordinated, but you get the idea. He hits on the lower bout and then it just taps the string somewhere. Um, he usually is on the 5th fret, I believe, or 3rd fret. I've watched him in film do it. Um, and he just alternates. The, the key to it is to get some swing into what he's doing. So he's alternating. Lower bout, tap. Upper bout, tap, lower bout, tap, upper bout, tap. Aberdeen, Mississippi Blues. There's a live version of that on YouTube where you can watch him do this. So take all these techniques, run with them. Uh, Muddy Waters is great for the down, up, down. So is Robert Johnson. Uh, Sun House is great for both the... And so is Buckle White. Um... Bob Brosman, of course, he throws all this stuff in, and it's insane what he does. Uh, whether you love him or hate him, I don't know, but his techniques is, has been incredible. Um, so, anyway, take this, run with it, have fun this week.